It's winter 2014, February. Um, this winter I've got to get some work done to this leg. I need to change the gearbox oil um, and the bellows which are in there. This one's actually cracked, split, so that's got to be replaced. And there's another one underneath. You might just be able to see through there. Another job I've got to do is, this is the dipstick for checking the oil. And I haven't been able to get that screw to budge. But I've had a look on YouTube and apparently you just use a big screwdriver and you hit it with a hammer, tap it a few times to start it off and then it makes it easier to uh, unscrew. And that's the plan anyway. Well this is what I've just done, I've used this screw, big screwdriver, tapped it with a hammer after having applied some of this stuff, penetrating oil. And happy days. It's actually moved. So let's see if I can actually get it off now. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, that whiffs a bit. It's not a bad colour, the oil. It's obviously no emulsification on it. So it's uh, looking in good nick. Pop that back down. Jobs are good. Okay, that's a new um, magnesium freshwater anode that I've put on there today. There's the old one, the old zinc one, which I've taken off. It's literally just two Allen bolts and then put the new one on. Now the important thing about that is that there's no paint or grease or anything behind it because it's got to touch the metal, it's metal against metal. That's the sacrificial metal so any loose electric or current in the water that would normally attack the aluminium of the engine will go for the magnesium instead because it goes for the easiest metal and uh, that protects the outdrive leg. I'm going to change these anodes for these new magnesium ones. Just undo the bolt. The nuts, sorry, and there's a bolt underneath. 17mm socket and spanner underneath. That's the bits. It's been roughed up. The screwdriver get all the all cruddiness off, so we get a good connection with the metal. There's the uh, new anodes. taking wires coaxial etc etc through here through the hole down where those wires are under here then we're going to go through here into engine bay and the one's going to go out to the transom on the back for the different instruments this is the old transducer of the, uh, the old Fish finder, here's the new one. Fortunately where the four screws have got in go in there is exactly the same as they were on that one. So that saves me drilling any new holes. These are the four existing ones, and there's some holes already from where the uh the previous transducer went up which I'm gonna reuse. I've got my um Sikaflex there to um 
put when I put the screw holes in and the transducer will just be hanging off the back like that not too far down <laughs> 